remember, remember the month of November with Pokemon Jedi and Bees. I see a reason with this gaming season to celebrate it with cheese. I'm Dominoy for GameGrin.com and writing intros is hard. Nevertheless, here are seven games that we're looking forward to this November. Following on from the massive success of Planet Coaster, Frontier are back with Planet Zoo. You'll be creating your own zoo in this PC exclusive title with realistic animals and near infinite customization. It's in beta at the moment for anyone who pre ordered, but it'll be out for everyone on the 5th of November. It's nearly time for the release of Death Stranding, and still nobody knows what the dickens it's actually about, or even if it's any good or not. It's a Hideo Kojima game though, so that will probably still apply after the game's release on the 8th of November for the PS4. With the recent announcement of a PC release next year, the game will be available to non-console gamers eventually too. If you want to be a bee, then you'll be excited to see Bee Simulator on the PC and also the PS4, Xbox One and Switch, but they don't rhyme. This charming little game with a conservationist message puts you in the shoes of one of our pollinating friends in one of the most wholesome titles to be released this month. It's coming on the 14th of November to all platforms. Having realized that gamers do indeed want single player experiences, EA are publishing a new Star Wars game that doesn't force you to interact with other humans. Coming to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is an action adventure which takes place between the events of Episode 3 and Rogue One. After a wait that seems like an eternity, Switch players will finally be able to get their hands on a mainline Pokemon entry for their convertible console. Releasing on the 15th of November, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield are both exclusives to the Switch as you might expect. With new Pokemon, new types of Pokemon, and of course the infamous Sir Farfetch, this game is set to be one of the most expansive games in the Pokemon series to date. But if Pokemon players have been waiting a while, Shenmue fans have been waiting even longer for a new game. The third title in the series is finally coming to the PC and PS4 this month after a near 20 year wait as Shenmue 3 is released into the wild. Picking up right where the last game left off, You'll be continuing Ryo's search for his father's killer on the 19th of November. If you're in the market for a new platform on which to buy games that you'll never actually own physically, then Google Stadia is coming on the 19th of November. The platform is poised to become the most successful new system since the Ouya, and with the backing of Google, it probably won't be forgotten about and abandoned after 16 months. And finally, it's everyone's favourite spreadsheet app, Football Manager. This technical simulator has had a graphical overhaul and features even more in-depth customization than before. With additions to training, board support and backroom staff, Football Manager 2020 is the most realistic simulation of the management of a football team yet, and it's out on the 19th of November for the PC, with a Stadia version coming at a later date. That's it for this month, remember to like and subscribe, ring the bell and leave a comment down below. You can get all the news, reviews, previews and opinions that you could ever need at GameGrin.com and don't forget to check back here for new videos twice a week. I've been Dominoid for GameGrin.com and I'll be back next month, but until then, game on.